How to convert the capacity control from step to stepless in a CX0 compressor. Tools Cutter Ratchet or screw gun 6 mm Allen socket 8 mm Allen socket Amber or rubber hammer 12 mm fixed range 14 mm fixed range 17 mm fixed range Torque range Pliers Teflon plates Alcohol and cloth Sandpaper Oil for gasket Rascal spray paint Personal protective equipment Safety helmet Protective glasses Protective gloves Safety shoes Attention! Keep and read the instructions manual carefully and always respect the safety warnings indicated. Attention! This video shows a CX0 compressor. Attention! Before performing any of the following operations, make sure that the compressor is not pressurized by opening the pressure fitting cap slightly with a 14 mm fixed range. Remove the solenoid valve coils. Using a screw gun or ratchet with an 8mm socket, remove the M1040 solenoid valves. Then remove the capillary using a 17mm fixed range. Using a screw gun or ratchet with an 8mm socket, remove the M1030 screws behind the capillary. Using a screw gun or ratchet with a 6mm socket, unscrew the M820 screws on the plate and then remove the plate. With the help of a number or rubber hammer, if necessary. Remove the gasket and clean the surface with sandpaper and alcohol. At this point, install the new plate. In order to prevent future refrigerant leaks, clean the surface carefully using a cloth and some alcohol. To make sure that the gasket is positioned correctly on the flange, apply a light coat of oil on the surface of the plate and the gasket. Now place the gasket on the plate making sure that the entire surface perfectly matches the machining of the parcellization circuit. As can be seen, the light coat of oil applied previously allows the gasket to adhere firmly on the surface of the plate. Take the three M820 screws previously removed from the old plate, insert them on the plate and position the assembly on the compressor using a ratchet with 6mm socket. Position the M1030 screws previously removed from the back of the capillary and secure them using a ratchet with a 8mm socket. Remove the gasket from the solenoid valves and replace them with the new ones included in the kit, taking care to clean the surface thoroughly. Attention! To position the solenoid valves correctly, align the centering pin with the corresponding hole on the partialization plate. Apply a light coat of oil in the new gasket and then position the solenoid valves on the compressor. Take the two fittings on the new capillary contained in the kit, apply some Teflon paste on the first threads of the fitting and screw them onto the compressor in the dedicated holes, using a 12mm fixed range.
Using a pair of pliers, remove the two protective caps from the new capillary, taking care not to let the copper flare come out. If it does, it can be repositioned by applying a light coat of oil. Install the capillary by screwing it onto the two previously positioned fittings, securing it with a 17mm fixed wrench, while holding the base with a 12mm fixed wrench. Using a torque wrench with a 6mm socket set to 35Nm, tighten the M820 screws. Using a torque wrench with an 8mm socket set to 70Nm, tighten both the M1030 screws and the M1040 screws. Reassemble the solenoid coils, applying for each one in the following sequence the O ring of a suitable size for the solenoid valve stem, the coil, and finally the anti moisture kit con consisting of a no ring, a curved washer, and the end cap. Paint everything using a can of Rascal spray paint, protecting the stem with some paper tape. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and discover all Frascold's video trainings. Frascold, blue is better.